deeper. Without a giant thresher maw helping. Damn right. We just showed the galaxy we can beat them. You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and... I don't know, I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarians' historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. You've got new messages, Commander. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. Don't worry, trainer. Joker knows better than to let anything happen to my favorite comm officer. Flatter me all you like. I'm still not feeding your fish. I was terrified at first, strapped into a safety harness. I can only imagine what it was like having that thing chasing you. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? If you want to fight tireless, merciless machines, it helps to have tireless, merciless machines of your own. We freed them from Reaper control, and they're looking for payback. That's exactly what we want. 
but you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Commander? So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Shepard, never a dull moment when the Normandy's on tour, is there? Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day... The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Please, enjoy your day.
Gabby, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trainer? She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. Need anything, Commander? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. folding chair or something. Commander? Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. <laughs> 